All right, well, welcome back. It's, you know, I'm basically making a video every day this week. Just get over that. Anyhow, um, today I thought I'd try and see what I can do about cleaning up these headlights a bit, because obviously they're dirty. And the headlights I got these from were from a Murray Garden tractor, which had been sitting outside for God knows how long. So, uh, I mean, these are pretty damn nasty. And I know they could use a polishing, too, probably. But... Um, that got melted because it fell down earlier this year, but luckily that's all the melting that happened. It wasn't any more than that. Because you can't really see that once it's on the mower, luckily. Anyhow, um, I'm hoping that by cleaning this stuff that maybe it'll take away some of the yellowing, but even then it's still, it's, I'm going to clean one at a time. Clean one side at a time and we'll see. I, um, I do actually have other ones from Spare Murray I got, but, um, I suppose I'll just show you guys kind of what I got going on in here. Turn on the old light, which is gonna be here forever now, so now I've got a nice light over this area. Next day, it really, you can tell everything is the right color. Um, at least in person, I'm not sure what's coming through on camera, but. I'd make my way around the mower to show you guys everything, but you know, I'm not gonna. So, there you go. Um, I'm going to work on maybe getting this hood uh, back together. Um, maybe take some of the stuff off the deck. And the, uh, actually, I'm going to let the Fulton Hole mower be because, well, I painted that. I don't remember what time, 5 o'clock yesterday. Same at the deck. Well, that was painted in the morning, so I could probably take the tape off of that now. This is for sure had enough time to dry. But, um, yeah. So, enough of the paint booth. Let's see what I can do about this. Now, I'm not going to really film it. I'm just going to take it inside and do some Dawn dish soaping to it. Let's make a thing of dish soap. And... In with these, well, warm dish soap water. You know. Well, I guess you could say that it was dirty. That's what it looks like now. I still got to polish that, but headlight lens came out really good. Really good. Anyhow, there you go. All right, here's a live before and after. Before, completely, after. Um, it still needs a good polishing, which I'm gonna do, but, I mean, you can just see how much yellowing it actually took out just by getting that dirt and grime out. Um, yeah, but I mean, it came out really good. So, oops. Um, I'm just gonna try some mag aluminum polish, Mother's. Um, actually, I don't know why I'm taking that with me. Let's just go here, right here, this stuff. And, uh, might even do it live. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, oh wait, hold on, I gotta go shut the door, I didn't do that, haha. <laughs> okay, now we can do this. Oh, just take a rag, like this. Try to make sure there's not very much on it, which there was plenty. Refold it here. Come on. You want to get about that much on there. Now I'm just going to do one spot. You want to see if black residue appears. As long as it does, you should be okay. Which, uh, it's not. I would have thought this would be just some aluminum. Comparable to, oh, there we go. There's the black residue. Just talking about. Just took a minute to appear. Now, oops. Since this was already pretty damn shiny to begin with, I don't know how much this is actually going to take, but I want to make sure you get out of it because you yeah, see that's the black residue you want don't ask me how polish works but that's just that's part of it now you might be asking why are you polishing the inside if nobody's ever going to see that well the inside for sure you want to get because it is what reflects the light from your light bulbs well, no kidding what else do they come from um 
is what reflects the light and makes it brighter, basically. So polishing it only makes the light that much brighter, much better. Polishing the inside, sure, it'll make the inside of your hood look really good, but in my opinion, the cleaning I just did does that already. You can even, you don't have to polish slowly. You can definitely go fast and kind of get in there. And really, just polish it however you want. Just get, get some polish and just do it. There we go. Then, use a different part of the rag. Actually, I'm going to get a different rag, period. Quickly. Um, the bag of rags here. Here we go. Found one with black residue already on it, so I'm going to assume it was used for polish already. Now, you can keep going after this and get it as shiny as you want, but um, I think I'll be pretty damn good with whatever. But uh, sorry if I'm not showing it, I'm kind of just focusing a little bit more on getting it all the polish off. And then I'll uh, inspect it. But basically, that's all you do is you just put the polish on. Wipe it around a bit, take the polish back off. Well, irregardless, this is definitely better than what it was before I did anything to it. And just, I mean, I'm surprised what just cleaning it did, you know? But, um, yeah. And this will also make the Headlight lenses look newer too, once it's on the mower. Hopefully it'll make the light brighter. Well, there you go. I mean, the difference is pretty, pretty obvious. That might be the thumbnail right there. That is a big difference. Wow. See, it's a little bit of dish soap and uh, Four minutes of polishing will do. There you go. I'm gonna do the other one, same process, and then I'll uh, I'll come back once it's all done. So I'm excited that that worked that good. Wow. All right, and here's the final product of both. I think the headlight lenses came out pretty damn good for just cleaning them with some dish soap. I definitely needed it. I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, these really, really came out good. I mean, they, they needed the, they needed a polishing bad and they needed, um, they needed the cleaning pretty damn bad. So I'm glad that's over with now. Um, yeah, here's the bulb assembly, which, uh, it's all right. It's pretty clean. I mean, I'm not going to clean it too much just because it is electrical. Um, and I don't really know what I'd clean that with. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed what you just saw, consider subscribing or don't be that kind of person. Whatever. I don't. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make a video on me peeling off the tape and putting the lenses back on the hood or the tape on the other thing. But I might. We shall see what, uh, what time brings, but at least I got the headlight lenses done now. I don't got to even think about them. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.